Hello there. My name is Wayne Robson, uh, and this is the start of a series of videos all about Nuke by the Foundry. It's aimed for 3D guys, um, mainly because I've worked a number of places over the years, um, both as lead and senior artist and lead lighting artist, you know, on films and TV and blah, 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 and games. And I come across the same problem where people who are doing 3D site often do not know how to use Nuke um, to save themselves a shed load of work. So the first one is the most basic of all is going to be the shovel node. Now I'm just going to pick another one of these. I'll pick this multi mat at the moment. So we've got a multi mat. If you know what a multi mat is, great. If you don't, it's a way of assigning solid colors to geometry in a scene so that you can create a mat from it. Now, if you, at the moment my viewer is showing that, if I go on to the red channel, if I, well, you can see that's the red channel. G will give me what the green channel is, and B will give me the blue channel. Press B again. There we go. So we can press red and back again. G for green and back again. That's how that works. So how do you make a mat out of this, and how does the shuffle node work? Well, the shuffle node uh, sometimes confuses people a lot. So I'm going to try and keep it as simple as possible. So I'm going to view the shuffle node there. Now you see over here in our properties, there's an R, a G, a B, and an A on the first input, which is where we're going. Now let's say we wanted to color correct this couch, right? That will allow us to isolate that. Or say we wanted that lamp. Or even the shelves. So let's try, first of all, something on here. I will just clone this. Control C, Control V. And then go and find the color version, which I would have found under here. Would have been far easier if I had kept it there initially. So we've got this here. And now that is our mat. Okay. So I can go under here and add a grade node. The simplest way of doing that is just to press G. And it will add it to whatever node you have uh, currently selected. This little triangle in the corner here, this here is the mask. Okay. So we connect that to there and try and line things up because otherwise my OCD will go crazy. Now we could do a number of things to this. So we view that. We could use a multiply channel. You can see I can lighten or dark it, darken it like that. Um, I could also say I didn't like the, I could change the black point and the white point. Just like, you know, you can play around with it. But uh, what I'm going to do right now, he says trying to work around the huge microphone in front of me is we can select our multiply node and say, right, I want this to be a bit sort of different color. So we could say, I don't know, you've got to remember you're combining it with the existing color. So with the original color being a yellow and we're adding on top of that, multiplying on top, the orange. So yeah, we could really crank these up, but it's not going to look um, tremendously different, okay? So what happens if we bring in another sort of image just to illustrate how things work with the shuffle mode? I'm going to pick a, uh, a random image. Um, we'll try this one first of all. And just a random star field one that's in my pictures folder on the other screen. So we've got this huge smegging star field. Now, again, as the shuffle was the last thing we highlighted, we brought up, but when you press tab, it opens that little box there, right? I don't have to do anything other than hit enter. So now I've got this viewed. Majority of this is blue. So if we wanted a mask from just the blue, great. We could even grade this if we really want to, like that. And then we have the original, right? So what I'm going to do is press M to merge, okay? First of all, in fact, we don't need that. That would be stupid. I'll take grade node again, and I'll also take and add a glow to this, all right, like that. Now I've got this here, all right. The glow I'm going to add from this, okay. So we view that first of all, and I could add as much glow as I wanted to this image, all right, um, and add brightness and stuff, you know. But it doesn't really do a lot. In this case, but what I'm showing is, you know, we, if you want to darken this down and 
just make it a bit more spectacular. And that's very, very crushed. Just add a bit more of it like that. So yeah, we've got to, if you take the mask off, you can see what it's doing there, okay? So right now, that's what we have, okay? Let's just add another shuffle node at the bottom. And it doesn't matter which channel we pick because it's all black and white now, okay? Connect it to there. And now we have our glow added on top. Now, if you need to disable any node, just highlight it and press a D, all right? Like that. So that's, we need to do this bit, the boring bit, before we get into some of the interesting stuff, you know, like this scene over here, all right? Which is all about light select. I wanted to get this one out of the way straight away because it's a simple one. Uh, we're going to be covering a number of subjects in this course. Um, I'll just outline when I read the document on the other other scene. We've covered the shuffle node. We're going to do about light select passes and how to use them correctly um, and how to save yourself re-rendering the same scene many, many times. We're going to cover some basing and advanced compositing, how to do depth of field and post, um, how to retexture in comp without re-rendering using a UV pass, camera projection, uh, velocity, relighting, how to tune subsurface scattering in post, uh, how you, you know, a basic use of mats, uh, things like that. So that's just some of the things on my little list, which is over on the other screen. So I hope this one's been enough to um, tickle your fancy a little bit and stuff like that, and that it's something you um, you hopefully now know how this shuffle node works. Uh, one thing I should add is if you have a shuffle node like I do here, right, on this particular render of an Apple store, this one here, as it's a multi-channel EXR, would allow me to shuffle out any particular pass. Now there's nothing in subservice. We could see a little bit of speculation. See what I mean? So it's not just the little boxes here. It's also the drop downs. We'll probably cover the shuffle copy uh, at some later point, which gets a little bit more complex, but not a lot. Right. Hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoyed it, my name is Wayne Robson. If you haven't, tell somebody a different name. Bye bye.